Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. All right. Hope everybody's been well. It's been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but I've been running around doing a ton of stuff and, you know, stuff with the room, personal stuff, travel a little bit. But I am back now. So I just want to come on real quick this morning and get people caught up on where I am with this whole thing. Um, this is a fairly steady uptrend. When you wash away all the noise and all of the things that you're wishing the market would do or demanding that the market would do, especially if you're somebody that just only knows how to be short or only knows how to you know, buy puts or sell calls or whatever it is that you do in this world and you just can't see the other side of the argument and every move to the upside has to be the end of the line, this probably has not been a very fun experience for you. And you deserve every bit of it. So we'll start out there. There's my first 60 seconds back. Okay. We've talked about this before. You have got to want to make money more than you want to be right. And this is the kind of market where if your priority is to look smart when everybody else is dumb and to be a contrarian and to be filled up with your ego and everything else, your lack of funds in your trading account reflects that mistake. Because for every, you know, for every day or two you're gonna have, you end up with the rest of the trend. And if you trade the way I suspect most of those people trade, you're not, you know, you're not taking profits. This does this stuff doesn't even get you back to even because you've been doing this stuff since back in, you know, October, November, December. Okay? So again, I will make my plea. You have got to want to make money more than you want to be right. There is nothing long term bearish about this chart. There's nothing even intermediate term bearish about this chart. Why? Because the baseline discussion about whether a tape is buy dips or sell rallies is that tape's ability or inability to trade above or below the green line, the 20 day simple moving average, the middle Bollinger Band. Whether you're talking about a stock or an option, futures, other types of commodities, other indexes, things, what, whatever it is, things that want the dip spot will, will test or stay above the green line, the 20 day simple. Things that are sell rallies will live below that line and it will test and fail, test and fail. So what have we seen you know, for the vast majority of, of, of the time since you know, middle of January? Middle of January, we had a little bit of a compression, a little bit of a squeeze area where we were fighting over the nine day. This is the nine day and the 20 day. The bulls won that battle. They did an upper band ride. They brought it back to come into the zone of the, uh, of, of the mid band, but they couldn't take it out. So that failed. We start living above the nine day again, take it up, back, sort of test it, back up, test it, and they got into a situation where, you know, we didn't even get there yesterday, but this was where back um, in late February, the bears had a huge opportunity. They printed that 59 low and they spent a couple of days trying to get through again and again, the 59, 60, 61 area, and they couldn't do it. And once they couldn't do it, then they punished them in association with CPI and, and some of the other things that were going on at part of that, that, that time. They took it up, made what at the time was a new all time high there, 23 half. Then we go into a consolidation period. Okay. This is when I was, you know, I, I was away. They floated it back into the nine day. We were trading it in the room. It was, you know, it was a choppy couple of days, but you know, there were some nice shorts in there, some nice longs in there. Then they hold it, they hop it and they go do 57. They really, they really ripped it on Friday. Um, and took out that all time high by about 20 something handles, went up into 57. So up top, once you get into blue sky, I've got 63, 68, 77, and then you got 86, 93, and then you're really talking about 5,200 if they can go ahead and make another higher high. And if that's just like, oh, what are you talking about? Look, we dealt with 5,000. They couldn't take out underneath it to convert this into a sell rallies market. So once they failed that, 
we went up to 5100. They brought him back into 59, 60, 61, 62, like we just talked about. They couldn't take it out. You go make another high to 23. They come back in. They deal with this area right here. This was 50, 60 versus 49, 60. 50, 60 versus 49, 60. I'll do the math. That's about 100 handles, okay? So they couldn't deal with that. They hop it up. They do 51, 60s. They come back in. They, had, they were having a good day yesterday. We had some really nice shorts in the room. We laddered down. We had a couple going at the same time. It was fantastic. They get down into the area of the 20-day, the simple moving average, right into the close there. They get down into that 50-60 area. 50-63, 50-63, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. And then what you see so often is the shorts are so weak, including me. Because when it started going, we're like, Pfft take profits. Great trade. We're good. Well, so did everybody else. Because now we're trading back up, you know, 51. I'm doing this at about 8.30 in the morning, not quite. We're trading 51.13. So we're back above the nine day at 5100 or 5101. We never actually tested the 20 day. So the thing we were talking about in the room yesterday was, okay, great. We're short. It's all good. You know, this week is crushed. Fantastic. Because the difference with us is we'll rag on the bears, we'll make fun of the bears, we'll tell people that short it all the time just are the opposite of smart. At the same time, when the market goes down, we short it. Then when it stops going down, we stop doing that. And then we get long. Because that's called trading, not ideology. I don't get anything at the end of my statement that gives me extra points or extra money for rooting for the bears all the time or rooting for the bulls all the time. If you get that on yours, let me know. Reach out. Okay, because I, I, I'd like some of that. But until that happens, you just have to trade price. Um, so they didn't even get to the 20. They spooked everybody into the close. They take out the nine day. You got the weekly pivot. Now we'll go to the hourly chart. So, I mean, they had their chance. There they go. They spook everybody. It's kind of flat overnight. Um, now we're back above the nine day. They spent the last, these are hourly candles, so the last three to four hours trying to turn 5100 into support, and maybe they have. <clears throat> the key for today is what happens when we get back to weekly pivot. Failed nicely there yesterday, off the open. That was a beauty. Brought it right in. It's gorgeous. Can they do it again? I don't know. We're not there yet. Um, if they convert weekly pivot to support, then maybe we don't do much with the rest of the day. But as we head into Thursday, Friday we have jobs, you're starting to get into opportunities for more directional pricing. If that directional pricing is to the upside, this doesn't have a hope in hell of being the high. It's the high of the moment. And until the bears can demonstrate an ability to get down and stay down below this 20 day, all these highs are gonna to continue to be just the high of the moment. Rinse and repeat, new highs. Trade accordingly. Trade accordingly. Shorts are a great rental if you're if you know, but the trend is up. Whether you like it or not, the trend is up. Uh, what else do we have? VWAP sitting at 5100. Proprietary moving average 5106. We're trading 51.13. Like I said, weekly pivots up there 51.16. So we're basically marching it up to where we opened the regular session yesterday, which was 16.5. So we'll have to see. The bear's best chance at turning this into some kind of a lower high that can be turned into a lower low below 50.60 is to hold the line at 51.16, 51.17. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. I won't be such a stranger. I will be back tomorrow with another webcast. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade